Hi, everybody. I think I'm live. I am... I'm just hooking up my iPod. Apparently, our... <sighs> oh, and I just started this live video. And I was thinking, oh, like, I'll get this live video done before everybody gets home because they're out running errands this morning and they just got home. And I don't, we've been having like major issues with our internet. Like, I don't know if they're working on something or like, I don't know what the deal is, but it just like, it keeps going out. Like every day we have a period of time where we like just don't have any internet. And apparently that's happening. Hey, I'm on a live baby. Can you tell everybody? Okay, let me just pull up comments. Hold on one second. What's up, baby? What's wrong? An electric pole went off down. Yeah, there's an accident. Okay, I'm like, I, I, that's so, that's, I. Hey, let me do her work. Sorry, guys. Hey, Mom. Violet desperately needed to tell me about an accident, apparently, that they saw. And she's very upset that I'm on a live and I can't talk to her right now. Okay, let me catch up, guys. Hey, Chris. Hi, Julie. Hey, Daisy. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I have a lot to share with you guys today. Um, I wanted to share this really beautiful card that I got. Um, Esau just gave me the mail and I opened it really quickly before um, I came back in here because I saw that it was from Chris and it's really pretty. She used the... Um, the, this was the, what am I trying to say, you guys? This was the paper pumpkin kit from last month. I really love it. So, and it's a really cool card. It opens up and it's fun, like a shadow card. So thank you, Chris, for the card. I love it. Today we're going to make, I have, I have some stuff here. We're going to make a Halloween <laughs> card. It's my swap card. Um, for my, uh, for my team, for my Stampin' Up team. So that's what we're going to make. Um, and then I have a few things to share with you and I have a little Stampin' Up haul to share with you guys. Okay. So the first thing is I did some crafting over the weekend. I wanted to show you guys this layout. This, I'm sharing this with my membership group. I have a, oh no. I just did that. You guys, I just literally, I touched the stamp and this ink and just did that it's fine that's where my journaling's going anyways but that's what i get um so i did this layout over the weekend these are some photos that i took of my um craft room and a couple weeks ago i was really well, you know, the last couple months I've been struggling a lot with my anxiety. And one of the things that happens when I'm struggling is I tend to dive into projects like organizational projects or cleaning projects. And this particular day, it was really, really, um, I was just struggling. And I ripped everything off of my counter here that's behind me and I recovered the top of it. And so I had everything out on my desk and um, I took these photos to send to a friend to say like, oh, like I'm struggling today. Like I started this project out, like what am I thinking? Um, and so that I kept them and then I did this layout and I used my Cricut Joy and I cut this title out. Um, it was really fun. And I have a video of it. I'm sharing with my um, membership group. They'll see it. But I wanted to show you guys the layout. And then I will put my journaling box here. And um, this was actually kind of inspired by the editorial pages in the Project Life app. This is sort of a layout that's in there. 
And um, so I, I did that this weekend. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then, hey, Kathy. Hey, Megan. Um, this is my Blessed to Craft Make and Take project for this month. I have a video um, right now that I'm in the process of editing that will go up. It's a regular video and it has like more of the details, but I wanted to show you guys the cards. So what I've done is I've taken the, um, I forget, Simply Citrus. That's the name of the kit. It's the Simply Citrus card kit in the annual catalog. And I've paired it together with the Press On stamp set that will be out in the catalog, the fall winter catalog tomorrow. And um, that's how I've made these cards. And everybody who's a part of the Blessed to Craft Make and Take, um, I hesitate to call it a club, but I guess like that's what I'm going to call it. Like the Blessed to Craft Make and Take package club thing <laughs> that I do. Um, these are the projects that we're going to make. And then, um, you get these five card bases and we cut them up and do things with them. So they're not, we don't just use them the way they are. Um, we're going to cut these up and use them. And then, um, I was really hesitant to try this glimmer paper. I was like, I don't know, like, to me, it's like when I see it, I'm like, oh, I can just only do rainbow stuff with it. But um, I really challenged myself to use it, not maybe in a rainbow sense. And so um, I know that can be hard sometimes when something new comes out and if you, you're, you know, you're not sure you're going to like it. So um, along with the components of the kit to make the cards, um, everybody will get... Um, three or four sheets of the glimmer paper. Um, I don't know why I have three here. Like, I don't know if it's only supposed to be three or if it's I, in my head, I'm thinking it's four. So you'll get the glimmer paper and then you get a package of dimensionals and then a package of rhinestones. And then the, this is just like the kit components that you get to, to make the cards. Um, and then you get envelopes. So the blessed to craft, um, make and take project club is $25 a month that includes shipping to you and then um you have the option to add on the stamp set that I use and then if you do that you don't pay shipping on it so um because I'll just ship it uh with your kit components and it's just a perk of being in the club if you want the stamp set to go with it so today that video will go up and I will put the link if you want to sign up to join. I'll put the link up here when I'm done with this video. And then if you're part of the um, club already and you're like, yes, I totally want that stamp set to go with my package this month. Um, when I send out the email today, you just reply to that email and let me know. So those are the projects for this month. I'm excited about these. I wanted to do one more like month in the annual catalog. I really thought like, oh, like let's jump into the fall winter catalog. But um, I just decided that I wanted to do one more thing in the annual catalog. And then the other thing that I'm going to start doing is there's going to be an exclusive project that will come along with the blessed with these projects. So I do these projects live at the end of the month, but starting this month, I'm going to have one exclusive project and video that I only share with those that are signed up to do, to be a part of this, because I just want to give them, um, something exclusive. And this month I'm going to be using, um, this product here and I'm going to show this to you in a minute. So that will be our exclusive project. And then we do have a Facebook group. You don't have to be on Facebook to participate in this. Every single thing I do, I send out an email and it is recorded. And then it also, this comes with a PDF that I print to put in your package and you get that printed PDF and it has all the instructions and everything. So even if you don't, if you can't catch the live version of all of this, um, you will still be able to uh, participate. So I would love for you guys to sign up for this. Um, the sign up, you have to sign up by the, by the 15th of the month, um, between the 12th and the 15th of the month is like really the cutoff dates to sign up to get this month's packet. Um, and then, um, 
If you sign up afterwards, it's totally fine if you sign up afterwards, you just will get the following month's kit. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is what um, we're doing for Blessed to Craft. Our live video will be on the 28th of the month. And then our um, exclusive project that I will be sharing with you guys, I am going to use product from the Fall Winter Catalog. And I'm going to share with you guys some stuff I got from Stampin' Up! over the weekend. I think I got it on Friday. And this is um, one of the things that I got. And it is the coffee, the mini coffee cups. That look like this. And then there are these little holders. I'm running out of space. <laughs> and you put this together somehow. Watch me ruin it before I even. Okay. Okay, and then the coffee cup goes in it. Isn't that cute? So our exclusive pro project for Blessed to Craft, I will be using this. Okay, so that's a new thing I'm adding this month. Uh, my goal is really to be able to grow that the group of people that um, do Blessed to Craft and that we can do... Um, you know, that it, it's exciting to get that exclusive project and then we can craft here together um, when I do the live. And then also um, when you're a part of that for six months in a row, you get $15 in free product. Okay, so let's dive in. I want to show you guys um, some of the things I got. Um, this is the last bit. I have one more small order I need to put in for the holiday catalog, but it's more stuff that will come that I need for like November, December. So I'm not really worried about getting it in, um, right away, but I got this last order and, um, this isn't in the holiday catalog. This is in the annual catalog, but I just wanted to show you because I needed some of these, sequence um just for a project it's from the whale of a time um sweet project or product and so i just these were on back order and i finally got them so there's that and then um this is not in any of the catalogs but i got two of these and i got them um i actually earned them um i got them for free from my upline um, there was a, uh, she did a promotion last, uh, like in May and June and you had, you know, you could earn all this stuff. And then if you did all those things, then you could, um, pick out some product to get. And, um, what I picked out are two of these. These are the mini cutters and Stampin' Up! has put these on the demonstrator supply list, meaning that, only demonstrators can purchase them and we're not allowed to sell them. Um, and they're not like, we don't get commission on them. We can just purchase them. And I have one, you guys know, I use that all of the time. It sits right here. Um, but I wanted to get, um, a backup one. And then I've also wanted to get a couple for giveaways. And so I will be for sure giving away some of these, um, and so I was so excited that these were, she had some stamp sets from the, um, holiday, you know, fall holiday, fall winter catalog. Um, and then she had these and, um, you guys know, I jumped all over these because I just love them. I'm so glad Stampin' Up! put them on our supply list. I wish that they would just put them so that customers could buy them. So many of you guys have reached out to me and have been like, I want to buy one of those. And I don't, they may do that at a later time but as of right now just demonstrators can buy them so i got two of those and i was very excited okay so let me show you guys um the products that i got and then we'll do our project for today hey tammy so i'm gonna show you guys stamp sets and dies first because there's a stack of them here this i got for kayla because 
Kayla is, we in this house, we call her the penguin queen. She loves penguins. When she was a baby, um, an itty bitty baby, she was like five months old. I got her a penguin stuffed animal and she slept with it. Um, and she still sleeps with it to this day. And we had named it Hugsy because if you guys are friends, fans, friends, the show friends, in the show friends, Joey has this really big penguin that he like hides from everybody and he calls it Hugsy. And it's like his, um, like the stuffed animal he like sleeps with. And so just, you know, we were being funny and we called it Hugsy and the name stuck. And she, um, loves penguins, anything penguins. She absolutely loves. She has lots of penguin stuffed animals. Chris last Christmas made her some really amazing penguin, um, items and she still, they are her favorite items. She has them hanging up on her wall by her bed. She looks at them every single night when she goes to bed and she's always like, I just love those penguins. So, um, I had to get this so that she had it. She was very excited. Um, I, I like it. I do like it, but it was not maybe necessarily my favorite one. It reminds me of Lawn Fawn, like their style of, of, um, st of stamps. The only, I guess the thing that I am nervous about this stamp set is it's a lot of coloring and I'm not great at coloring. Hey, Teresa, but Kayla will love it and she'll color it and for sure. And it comes with the dies and I love that it comes with this like stitched hillside die. Um, that I, is something that like I will keep forever. So I got that set. Tomorrow, the catalog goes live for you guys. The fall winter catalog goes live. I will have tomorrow, you guys always know that I do a catalog walkthrough. I share my favorite pro um, products. I share with you guys ideas. And then I also will have a PDF download for labels for all of this product. So labels for the new designer paper, labels for all of your dyes, um, so that you can label that and keep it consistent. If you've been doing this, if you've been um, using my labels for, I think I started doing this last holiday catalog um, or maybe two years ago with the annual catalog, it makes it consistent to have the same labels. And then you, you know, if you have a good labeling system, you just grab those labels. It's always free. Um, I offer it as a download the day the catalog goes live. So I will have that tomorrow. Okay, so next um, I got this, the Snowflake Wishes, and it has, nope, I got all the dies in one thing. So it is a photopolymer set. Um, there's two in here. The Snowflakes are, are a good size, you know, a really decent size, um, and I love them. I'm always a sucker for anything Snowflakes, and I keep my Snowflake stuff forever. I don't get rid of it um, because it's so useful, right? So there's that set. Um, and then I have this set here. This is a really fun set. I've been wanting Stampin' Up! to do this for years. It's the big words and then the outlines of the words. And um, this is just going to be so fun. I cannot wait to use this. And again, it's one that I will keep forever. I think it's going to be great for like scrapbooking um, and not just card making. So I grabbed that. Next, I have this, and I really love this. Now, this was a, where it was like, really? Like the bows, really? But these bows are fun, and the sentiments are amazing. The fonts are really amazing. Um, Teresa said, cute set. I tend to like more adult-looking stamp sets. Not many young children in my family. Yeah, so that's, that is a great one, the words. So I really like how whimsical this is, um, and there's lots of things that you can do with that, and I love that it's a punch. Okay, so next is this one here. Uh, what? I don't know what the deal is with me and trees lately. I'm like all about the trees and this is beautiful. It reminds me of one of my favorite sets from a couple years ago um, that was like had these pine trees and they were kind of like more whimsical like this. Um, I love this. I love that it's like there's a thinking of you. I think this is so amazing and the dyes are great. And again, these like um, hills, which I've wanted Stampin' Up! to do for a long time. So you you can use this like for snowy scenes or um, 
It doesn't have to be like with the snow. You could even use these for like, um, like in the sand, like water scenes. So these are just great to have like in your collection. So I love that. And I love that it's photopolymer. A ton of these were photopolymer. And you guys know that I love love the photopolymer. So at first I was thinking, I saw this in the catalog. I was like, yep, I totally want it because it has all the envelope dies to decorate your envelopes and liners and everything. But then also I kept seeing this image floating around and I was like, hello, where is that coming from? It's from the set and it has dies. So I love it. Um, next is this one here, warm hugs. This is just, it's, uh, it will go well with the coffee stuff is what I'm trying to say. Coffee stuff wrapped in Christmas. This is a cute one. Again, the sentiments. Um, I just needed this for an upcoming project, um, that I am doing. And then this one, of course, this one coordinates with the stitched triangle dies. So like, obviously I was going to be all over this one. Love it. And then um, I did get the, you guys have, you guys saw that I got the tent, the square tins um, earlier in the month. I did get the round tins. These tins are much bigger than I thought they were. And something that I just did, I had these on hand and I put in an order for my favorite sequence. These are the um, Doris sequence and there's the, I mixed mine, um, the large and the, it's like the five milliliter and the eight. And I just mixed mine together and I had got, um, they're really inexpensive, but they're my favorite because they're like this iridescent. And so they pick up the color underneath them. And so they're really inexpensive. I just grabbed them on Amazon and, um, I got like six packages of them and I just dumped them all in this tin and it's working out really well. Um, so I, you know, I'm probably going to use some of these for like organizational stuff as well, but I love the size of these. I actually thought that these were smaller, um, but they're not. And so, um, I just wanted to show you guys these again, cause they're really amazing. And then, um, the last few things I got, so I got the embossing folders. This one is the pine trees. And then I got the snowflakes and the, um, spider webs. There's only one other emb embossing folder I really want to get. And I actually thought I got it in this order, but I guess I didn't. Um, but I love these. I have not got embossing folders for a couple catalogs and, um, thought it was time to just get some and the spider webs all you know I keep my embossing folders pretty much forever too because they're so so versatile and then um you will not be surprised that I got um basically every ribbon in the holiday catalog I think there's one other ribbon I want um and I will uh, get that later on um this is the real red ribbon and it is like braided um, this comes in a set, which I actually thought this was a little bit smaller, but it's red and green, and then it has gold um, trim. And I just think, especially during the holiday, for the holiday, fall holiday catalog, I just love all the ribbons that coordinate. Um, I'm, I wasn't thrilled with the ribbon selection in the annual catalog, so I was very happy to see um, such great ribbon selection in this catalog. Then there's this really thick one. I always like to get at least one thick ribbon during the, um, holiday season. Uh, obviously like for wrapping purposes. Um, and then I think actually this came in a set. I think this was a set and this, they did something like this a couple years ago and I actually have really loved it. I stuck it in my December daily stuff for documenting and it's really awesome. Um, yeah, this is, I love this. It's like gold twine. I really, really love this. And then I think this was a set and this was in the fall stuff. It coordinates with the Simply Gilded Autumn stuff. And then this is some iridescent. And I believe that this coordinates with 
some of the snowflake stuff. Yeah, snowflake splendor ribbon. And it's a little bit hard to see, but it's like a sheer ribbon. And um, then it's like iridescent. And then some embellishments, um, the Jingle Bells in red, green, and gold. Um, these are beautiful. In fact, I just ordered another set of these on an order I had to place at the last minute. And then um, tomorrow when the catalog goes live, I'm ordering more of these gold and red. And then look at how beautiful these are. These are the blue, um, blue adhesive backed gems and they're gorgeous. And then the snowflake, um, ones. And then also we're going to use these on today's project. These are gorgeous. These are pearls and they are the iridescent pearls. So let's use those today. So that is what I picked up. Like I said, there's one more small order I need to place, but it's for projects that are at the like November, December. So um, I am going to wait on those. So let's dive in and make our project today. I'm going to be using this stamp set. Um, Kayla was in here crafting with me on Saturday and she was like, looked over at like what I was doing and she's like, why are you making a Halloween card in July? Like this does not make sense to me. Um, but these are for my swap cards um, for my team. And so I wanted to do something other than Christmas stuff. I used my Stitched So Sweetly um, dies, so the border dies. Um, I have two sets. This is two sets of the dies. Um, if you get the dies, you just get this piece here and then this piece here. Um, I just, all of my shaped dies, I have two sets of. Then I used this, the... Um, this is the owl dies and it has this little um, spider web in it. And so I used that. I wanted to show you guys where that came from, but these coordinate with the hoot, hoot, hoot owls. So I used that. And then this is the stamp set. We're gonna use Cajun Craze. And then I used um, the Halloween paper. Yeah, the cat is really cute. This is a really cute set. Um, I love the sentiments. And then I was doing all of my dyes this weekend. I was putting them all on the um, packaging and I was using my trimmer to cut the magnet sheets, which I always do, and then also cut the um, cardboard piece that goes behind my dies. And um, it obviously eats up my blade really, really badly when I do that. Um, but I'm usually not worried about it. I usually cut all of my magnet sheets at once and then I just have them um, on hand. Like I have a whole bunch of them on hand to then be able to do. And so anyways, I was doing that this weekend and then I was like, okay, like I need to change my blade because then we were crafting I have no blades for my trimmer. Like, I guess I just hadn't ordered any. And um, so I had to get out one of my old trimmers. Um, thank goodness I have a million trimmers sitting around. So we're just using the sentiment. It's not a trick. It's just a treat. We're using Cajun Craze. Um, and so because my, my trimmer blade was tore up, it tore my, like it, um, j it made my paper jagged. So I just keep a nail file. I get asked this a lot. Like, what are you doing? Why do you use that? What's this? This is just a nail file you get from wherever. I always say I don't like the nail files at Target. Um, <laughs> I had to run into Walgreens to get nail files because Walmart didn't have them and I don't live by a Target. And so it was really funny because I purchased like no joke, like I don't, there was like 15, 12 or 15 um, of these. And the guy was like, Hmm. Like, what are you doing with all the files? Um, but I just keep one in my craft room. And then if my e edges are ever jagged, um, I can do what I just did is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So what I have 
first is I have a Cajun craze card base and I've already prepped this. Um, I have a piece of whisper white in here and I guess, I guess I like just have an extra card base. Yeah. It just makes it more sturdy in the back. This is actually just our, what comes in the designer paper. I have like a thousand of these because when I do my paper shares and my paper parties, I end up having a ton of these. So, um, I just cut them up and it makes it a little bit more sturdy. Um, so I have my card base. It's just a standard A2 size card. I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter and then I folded it in half at five and a half. And this is going to give me my, um, card base. So the next thing I have is a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And this is cut at three and a half. And then it's five and a quarter. So I still have a little bit of a border left. Okay. So then the next thing I have is the Stitched So Sweetly die that I cut in Whisper White. And then I have the um, little web that I cut. And it cuts really well. I um, cut a ton of these this weekend and didn't have any issues. I desperately need new cutting mats for my Big Shot. And I just, I hate spending money on stuff like that. You know, like it's not fun to spend money on plates. So I'd much rather spend it on stamps. So um, we have this piece here. And then I have the designer paper and these are one inch by five inch. And so all I wanna do is place these on this panel, okay? So those are the sides that I want. And I want them like this. So let's take some adhesive. Okay. And what I like to do I need light, you guys. Yeah, I guess that's going to help me. Okay. So, we're going to start on this edge. I'm hoping you guys can still see me. Like that. Then we're going to turn it and place it like so. And then I'll put the middle one in. And this way, I get a little bit better. I get them a little bit more even. So on the back of this, I'm going to put some foam because I want it to stand out, up. You know, I want it to have some dimension. And I think, yeah, I have some. More foam here. Like so. Oh, the large ones. Yeah. Yeah, Daisy. Those are, I have those. <laughs> Actually should just get those out and use them for right now. Actually, now that you've said that. So, um, I never use the really, really big ones, like the extra long ones, but I have a set. Um, and that's actually, well, I mean those, but those also, it's like maybe a little bit harder to use those. Okay. Okay. You guys see that? So now I know there's that shadow. I'll turn that light off in just a second. So now I'm just going to place this on the edge like this. And then let's stamp. So I'm going to use this stamp.
I'm gonna put it on the edge here. Not too bad. I feel like this ink is everywhere. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Like, see, it's just like everywhere. Okay. Bring our card back over. And then we have our web and I'm just putting that on there. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. And so this was my swap card for our team swap. And they are due today. I did do them over the weekend. It's better than what's usually happening with me and swap cards. I swear they're going to be the death of me. I'm usually doing my swap card the day they're due and I have to mail them. So the fact that they're already done and packaged up and ready to go to the post office right this minute, I'm feeling like I'm winning at life. Okay, so next, I have one more thing to do. So these are so pretty. Oh, I was like, how is this a brand new package when I used a bunch of these on my swap cards? I just, I used the bottom row. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get a ton of them. They already have adhesive on them. We're just gonna put one of those in the middle of the web, which I know it's a little bit hard to see, but it's so super cute. So I love those. I'm gonna order more of them. So then this is, is it straight? Looks pretty straight. So this is my swap card for our team. So if any, I know Chris is on here and I saw Roberta pop on here, it won't be a surprise. If you like your swap cards to be a surprise, I ruined mine. But I love it. Turned out great. So start the start of Halloween cards. I don't know who that is, Mom. I don't know who you're talking about. Rory Faddis. Kathy might enjoy this if she still likes arts and crafts. I don't know who that is. Um... Daisy said, cute, love Halloween cards. Teresa said, I was surprised at the DSP for Halloween. The black and white flowers, but I do like it. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah, I do. Um, I, I didn't like it in the catalog, but then when I got it, I liked it more. Um, it's pretty. I really love this piece. And this piece, you don't even have to use for Halloween. Like... It's not, and then even so, like the web obviously is more, but there's some pieces in there that you don't have to necessarily use for Halloween. So I love that. So that's my card today. I'm getting my swap cards in the mail today. Um, if you joined the fall winter paper party, invoices have gone out. I thought the fourth was on Thursday. I did not realize the fourth is tomorrow. It, like it's tomorrow, like it's Tuesday. And so all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I had planned on sending invoices out today, but I sent them out last night um, to hopefully give people a little bit more time to get into their email and stuff. So those went out. So please, if you signed up, make sure you're looking for those and that you get payment in. And I'm sorry about the, um, the kind of like the last minute the quick turnaround. I like to give a little bit more time than that. And then also tomorrow, um, Stampin' Up! is launching the brand new online store. So it is going to be really crazy, you guys, with the holiday, with the fall, um, winter catalog going live and then change completely changing the online store system. It's going to be a little bit crazy. So if you go to place an order tomorrow, um, Make sure a couple things. Make sure that you are still shopping with me, that I am still your demonstrator. Um, I don't have a pen, do I? Yes, I do. I'm going to write down my demonstrator ID number um, so that you can pick that if you need to. to I always do this when I go to write it. 2106 408 and I'm in the system as Tina Martinez. 
So I know it's kind of confusing, confusing because all of my online stuff, like my website and Facebook here, it's like Katina Martinez, but the system um, Stampin' Up! has me as Tina Martinez, and that is my demo ID number, and so you can search me by that as well. Make sure I'm still selected as your demonstrator. Um, last month, I had somebody place a very like a fairly large order and they thought that they were placing it with me and they were not and there's not anything that I can do when that happens so um they were disappointed they didn't get my um ordering special for the month and um I felt bad but they just you know I didn't, I didn't get the order. So there was nothing I could do. Um, so make sure that you still have me selected. Um, make sure your address and your email is correct. Um, double check that. And then if anybody has any problems placing orders tomorrow, I will be home in my office all day tomorrow helping people get their orders in because it's just a brand new system. I know it's going to be different. Don't hesitate to reach out by email or by text um, or a phone call. Um, I will be here to help. I don't know how it's August already, Daisy. I, I don't, I don't have any idea. It's, I'm, it's a little crazy. So that will be happening tomorrow. I will be live again tomorrow and I will do a catalog tour. We will be walking through the fall winter catalog and I will be sharing my thoughts on all the product. Um, I am placing my order for paper shares tomorrow. Um, so that's going to be um, fun. And then I will pop the link in to Blessed to Craft if you guys are interested in joining that. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day, a wonderful Monday, and a great start to your week. It's going to be a busy week. Um, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. It's going to be busy. So I hope you all are doing well, and I will chat with you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.